Hello and welcome to my channel, where I share tips and tricks on personal finance and investing. Today, I'm going to talk about a simple and effective way of investing in mutual funds that can help you achieve your financial goals, a systematic investment plan or SIP. A SIP is a plan in which you invest a fixed amount of money in a mutual fund scheme of your choice at regular intervals, such as weekly, monthly, or quarterly. For example, you can start a SIP of ours. 5,000 per month in an equity mutual fund for 10 years. The main advantage of a SIP is that it helps you save regularly and benefit from the power of compounding. Compounding means that your money grows faster as the returns are reinvested along with the principal amount. For example, if you invest 5,000 rupees per month for 10 years at an annual return of 12%, you will end up with Rs. 11.61 locks at the end of the period. Another benefit of a SIP is that it helps you reduce the risk of market fluctuations by averaging out the cost of your investments. This is because you buy more units when the market is low and fewer units when the market is high. This way, you lower your average cost per unit over time. This strategy is known as Dollar Cost Averaging or DCA. To start a SIP, you need to choose a mutual fund scheme that suits your risk profile and investment objective. You can compare different schemes based on their past performance, ratings, expense ratio, portfolio composition, etc. You can also use online tools like calculators and planners to estimate how much you need to invest and for how long to achieve your desired goal. Once you have selected a scheme, you need to fill up an application form and provide your bank details for the automatic transfer of funds. You can also choose the date and frequency of your SIP installments. You can start a SIP with as low as 500 rupees per month and increase or decrease it as per your convenience. Some tips to make the most of your SIP are Start early and invest for the long term to maximize the compounding effect. Increase your SIP amount periodically as your income grows to boost your returns. Don't stop or withdraw your SIP prematurely unless there is an emergency or a change in your goal. Review your SIP performance periodically and rebalance your portfolio if needed to align with your risk appetite and market conditions. I hope this video has given you a clear idea of what a SIP is and how it can help you grow your wealth over time. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also, don't forget to share your feedback and questions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and happy investing.